welcome to Elfat May. Elfat is uh, basically a challenge. It stands for Let's Finish a Track. And it's a music producer challenge. So basically you have about a month, a bit less, to uh, create and finish a track. That's the most important thing. Um, and then we have a shared deadline we work towards. And uh, at the end of the month, we sit here and listen to all the tracks and review them together. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it's all about. Pretty simple uh, concept. Today, I have with me my good old man, Ovi, for the first time. Let's all give him a big hand. Hey, that's me. Welcome to the stream, Ovi. How are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. Uh, it's going to be interesting to try and be a, a judge for the first time. Hell yeah. Have you uh, been nervous for today? A little bit. I, I am kind of nervous that I won't be able to give proper feedback, but uh, I am going to do my best, though. <laughs> so Perfect. Hopefully Perfect. that's enough. That, nice. I think, I mean, how can it get worse than Meluran? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> I hope he's not watching the stream right now. Also, we have with us today, Mr. Overload, as always. Let's give him a big hand. Welcome to the stream, Overload. Hey. How are you feeling today, man? Uh, exhausted, but it's, it's okay. I think I will survive. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And um, just quickly looking through the chat, we have a Deep Sea Stronaut, and we have Elite, and we have Doom Rabby with us today in the chat. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Well, um, yeah, I actually I haven't really prepared. Like usually, I'll prepare uh, some questions for the hosts, um, but I haven't really prepared any for today. So maybe if you guys, like my co-hosts, or maybe the chat, if you guys have some questions that are at least as good as the ones I usually ask. Then uh, we're so all the ears. Pretty low. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we actually have a question from Molle. And uh, okay. what's up, Molle? Welcome to the chat. Um, yeah, what inspires you? It's a good question. Maybe oh. Overload want to start with this one. <laughs> That's the worst thing you could <laughs> start with me. <laughs> because I'm having such a hard time with inspirations last, I don't know, last few months. Actually, the good thing is to take a break, basically. Don't, don't overdo things, go outside, have some fun, take a walk, I don't know, try to do some sport, go to the cinema, just have some good time and the inspiration will eventually come from on its own. Well, I, I think I heard the, like to be really, I don't know, coy about it, I think the, the best quote I've ever heard about that is basically, if I knew what what brought forth inspiration, I would be rich. <laughs> uh, but I think the, the one thing that always seems to work for me is actually to experience uh, big productions. Like uh, when we were at Rampage, I was super inspired afterwards. That's true, I agree with this, because every time I'm on the inquisitive hospitality or <laughs> let it, I feel, I feel like so inspired to make music and you know, the ambitious show. Mm -hmm. You yeah. just want to go to the studio and make a big things. <laughs> Get a bit away, maybe, from from your old chair or from the computer and get yeah. out there and like experience stuff. That always experience helps. Life. Yeah. Okay, um, so the first track is sent in by uh, Elite and it's called E. not playing yeah for, playing for me oh, it's playing for me now okay goody good oh wait there is no this. melody there we go this is this is e. this is e Is 
This is E. This is E. Boy. Boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, blank. boy. That was a banger. First thing, that gig had, I think, too much high end for me. Slappiness of it, transients, I don't know. It just the high frequencies were like a bit too much for it. Uh, otherwise, it was really good. I really enjoyed the crazy kick pattern. Uh, the few places, it's really good. Yeah, um, that was nice. Yeah. Uh, also, the RP thing, I, it could be more upfront. It was like so hidden in the back. It was barely noticeable. And I think it would be really good if you can just like slam it in your face, <laughs> basically. I thought it was really cool. I really liked it, and I really liked uh, the vocal samples. Actually, they fit in really, really well. Also, the E on the drop was really cool. Um, I was like, when when the drop came in at first, I actually I expected the like the bass, uh, the top layer of the bass to be like fatter or more distorted than it was, but uh, I think uh, as I heard it, I, I kind of liked it. Uh, like I think it, it 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 sounds really good as it is, but maybe you could add even more distortion to that bass line to get it really fattened up. Obi, you're up. Yeah, uh, I would actually start to start by disagreeing with Overload because I think it was <laughs> great that the art was in the background. Uh, I, f I really feel like again, I like Overload. It's not really my style with this deep Thurman bass, but I can definitely see it, that uh, it, it was a vibe and everything fit together well. Uh, yeah. And I think that the main element in the drop was like the the, the driving bass to really be that. As uh, I, I saw Eli had said, uh, he tried to make it fat, which <laughs> I think uh, I think kind of you succeeded on that one, even though you failed, said you failed. Um, I think it's great that the the art then comes in, into the background because then you still have the the main element that you want to focus on, but you get variation as well. Uh, and uh, the whole the thing that uh, it, it seems the arb is kind of offset so it kind of flams like when you hit a snare and goes uh and the uh the arb had that same effect which i thought was was awesome but yeah great track should we all give elite a big hand Woo! yeah you did it you did something you did it my man yeah Woo! Woo great job man great job okay so now it's time for the second question of the of the day which I oh don't boy. have. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so if anyone in the chat can post a question, then we will answer it. And if we're not going to get one fast enough, we'll just make one up, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I think I have one, but I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> well, it's better just than from... nothing, so let us yeah. know. I guess. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of production related as well, which I don't mind. Uh, I think it's it's the the show for it anyway. So, what what's a plugin that you used to use a lot and you don't now, and why don't you use it anymore? That's a good question. Is it like any plugin or effect plugin or a synth plugin, like an instrument or an effect, or can it be? Both? Honestly, anything. I think. Okay. Well, it's a bit obvious, but I can take it, and then Overload has time to think about a better answer than mine. Um, <laughs> I think a lot of us, at least me, has replaced a lot of the synths we used to use with Serum over the last year or the last few years. Um, I used yeah. to use Massive a lot and uh, Silent yeah. and like just in general a lot of synth and now I just use Serum for almost everything. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing, but it, it kind of simplifies the work process for me because I don't have to like swap between different uh, since I can just do everything in Serum and then I feel like at least that I'm getting better at using Serum every time because it's basically all I use now. I think for me it's either Sausage Fatten, which I don't use that much anymore, <laughs> <laughs> even though I should. Um, Game of Fat uh, Fattener, I think it. I don't use it that much as well. Uh, yeah, Harmor or the Fruity Loops one. Is it called Harmor? Yeah, yeah, Harmor. Yeah. 
Yeah, I tend to use it a lot in the beginning, but then I switch to Serum. I don't even use Silent or any other stuff. I just use Diva and Serum, basically. And I'm re really looking forward to get my hands on Faceplant. It's a new synth that looks up great. The next track we have, next player in the arena, is Mr. Horizon. Oh, and... Oh. He has a track called Black Liquid. Such, nice. such pretty, such pretty you vibes. Do. I just, I have, I have one thing to say before we, we start the feedback. Have you, have you seen the, the, the vine? They used it on the vines with the, the two Spider Men in the, in like the two people in Spider Man costumes on the bed where they were slapping each other's ass. Uh, yeah, I think I have actually. Yeah. <laughs> Because because that <laughs> snare sounds like the one where it's it they, they he smacks with both hands on the ass. It sounds like that. The snare sounds exactly <laughs> like that sound clip. I really hope that's where it was sampled from. <laughs> I don't know. I, I had I had some feedback to the snare as well, and it just it dawned on me in the second drop that that is what is what it sounded like to me. Uh, so if we start there, I think uh, I think the snare is a little too quiet, and it just. It doesn't fit in my book. It sounds it sounds either like that or like someone slapping a box, <laughs> like a cardboard box, uh, which of course it's just the snare sound, so it will it might fit fit in somewhere. I just don't think that that snare fits this track. I don't have any constructive feedback as to what snare you should choose instead. Just try something else. <laughs> Super constructive feedback from my part. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning where like after we have like the, the, the full on intro when you introduce the drums I would like a bit more of a beat in the beginning uh, especially with like the kick drums because it's it's very simple before we go into the build up and it was just like a minor detail where I was expecting more of a flow in the track to have more uh, the drums to have more kind of swing or a rhythm to it I was uh, I really like the fake outs that you have in the drop especially the second drop yeah I think uh, someone said up here that the uh, deep sister not said he needed more of that halftime beat and I was like oh yeah we we get the trap drop, drop and then or like the, the chill trap and then you drop that into drum and bass which was cool I like I like a good fake out uh, so definitely definitely cool and then uh, just a, a shout out to the weird sweep you have had after the first drop that was uh, unexpected. I'll uh, I'll say some stuff then I'll add that to the snare. Uh, I agree. I don't think I don't think the snare sample is is that good. Um, you could actually try maybe using a rim shot instead. I think that would fit this uh, chilled vibe uh, pretty well. Um, yeah. Maybe or just look for another snare. Um, uh, apart from that, I think maybe the ARP, I don't know, it was a pretty good ARP, but it sounded a bit dry and pretty loud, so maybe wash it out a bit more if you want to go for like the kind of chilled vibe uh, that, that I was getting from the rest of the track. Uh, not a lot though, just just to wash it out maybe a little bit more, making it a bit more like dreamy, if that makes sense. 
the first the first drop uh, the, the like as Ovi said you had these uh, fake outs in both drops I don't think the one in the first drop did the track any favors to be honest I would prefer just a normal drop for the first one and then for the second drop I would actually prefer to have the halftime be uh, longer like a full section of halftime instead of uh, jumping so quickly back to uh, drum and bass um, but it also worked as is in the second drop so it's just I think that's just my personal opinion on it yeah I agree with you about that uh, drum step part or half tempo part definitely um, I also agree with the snare samples I mean overall I would change the drums samples I mean, kick snare heads were kind of okay, or rolls or break underneath, or what is what it was. It was a bit loud to me, so I would focus on that as well. Uh, as Kasger said, the arc was really dry, and I it was really loud compared to other elements in the track. Also, I would add more sub. I mean, low end. Always. Always more so. <laughs> Always more so. I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate the fact that Overload uh, has praised me for my subs earlier. And apparently, <laughs> yeah. that's, uh, yeah, that's yeah, some of the highest praise sub, you can get from Overload. That's <laughs> rare. That's uh, rare. Uh, I mean, your sub levels are really good, Ovi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you even said to my first submission that the sub yeah. was too loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's a rare. Yeah. That's a rare thing. <laughs> Yeah, did, okay. did we have any more feedback for Horizon's track? Uh, yeah, I was definitely expecting some more poop coffee samples. Yeah. Um, really, really disappointed. What the hell happened uh, here? <laughs> I thought we had like a theme yeah. going. Well, I heard the shakers yeah. in the intro and I really appreciate yeah. those. So yeah, I was like, this, Good job. this, is, this is such a weird thing. <laughs> oh, it's shakers. Good on you, my man. Good on you. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Let's uh, let's all give uh, Horizon a big hand for finishing a track this month. Woo! Good job, my man. Woo! Go Horizon! Go Horizon! Good one. So that was the second track of this month's Elfed, and now it's time for the third question. Are you guys ready? Sure, but I don't have any question. Who has? Have you thought of something, Casper? Wait, who has the questions? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll try to um, to come up with the question, and we can see maybe we can bend it a bit if it's not too interesting. Um, I was I was thinking because most of the time when I produce stuff, um, you tend to you create a track and then you tend to put in maybe some some small sounds or some something like some ambient sounds to sort of fill out your mix. So maybe not something you particularly is, are like gonna hear. I know some people put in pink noise and stuff like that. Um, so just wanted to hear if, if you guys have any like secret sauce you always sprinkle into your track somewhere. It doesn't have to be, maybe it can just be like a special type of percussion or some ambient noise you always fill somewhere to like get your track to sound fuller, if that makes sense. True, I, I get you. That, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah. The, the secret sauce for the, the, the structure in the track or the, the fill, how you fill out the uh, the spectrum make yeah, it sound full yeah basically well this is kind of my curve tonight because this is what i'm really bad at and <laughs> the reason why casper has asked me multiple times to fill in my tracks with percussions because i just don't do this uh, <laughs> uh so yeah I, I think the only thing the, the reason the, on my recent release the one where we have uh, on sub i uh, i i I made uh, some like on the on the drop. It's it's like typical dubstep things where you will you will have some uh, some elements following the the beat uh, of the track. And I had like some some psycho-ish violence, like the ring 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 ring. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Violence. Yeah. I, I tried to put that like on every beat to have it follow uh, because it was kind of a a horror style track. So that kind of fit. Uh, other than that, I think the the standard is a uh, crowd noise, uh, which is what I turn to every once in a while. I tend to put the pink noise under the drop, just to fill up the frequencies. Just like the subtle, you can't even hear it, but it fills up the frequencies. It, like push your frequencies a bit up in the loudness world. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, I put clap 
uh, in the job, like 80s, 90s synthwave stuff. Mitrek does that a lot. Uh, at the end of the, I don't know, 8 bar or something. Yeah. You will eventually hear it in my LF80 submission as well. Yeah, I started, like after you said that one time, I've started doing it as well. <laughs> all, all the time I yeah. do it now. It's so good. It really adds that something. I don't yeah. know why, but it's, it's just really a drone cool. bass. After, after these eight bars, you just add the claps like, da, 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 da. like yeah. it just works. Yeah, exactly. Or the, or the exactly. tons. Yeah, yeah, it true, really works true. well. I, I'm, I'm not good with tons, so I prefer claps. Also, cool ambient sounds like. It's so cliche or typical to have a liquid drum and bass track, like pure liquid drum and bass track, and have it like seagulls in the. Yeah, like, <laughs> that, like that's, that's, sounds. That's yeah. most common thing, I, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, old Man Sky stuff, something. I mean, yeah. the more uh, organic or ambient sound, more human-ish nature sound you use, the more it will be uh, going strictly to heart of the listeners if you are going for emotional track not for dance floor banger of course you, you don't want to have a dance floor banger with bird sounds I think. sequel sounds <laughs> 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 what i always do like i used to use uh, the pink noise trick uh, a lot as well and just layer it uh, in my drops um but i did one time it's actually a while ago i did a collab with uh, a guy called Katas. Um, we did an, uh, a track for NCS, and um, I noticed he he had uh, another sound, which is it, it's a bit, it's not similar to Pink Noise, but it's over there, and it's also it sounds a bit like a crowd, but it's not. It's it's like some machinery sound that, that like oh, yeah. goes on and on, and I use it in all my tracks now, all the time. <laughs> I use it like. It's throughout the whole track. I just vary like how loud it is. So it's always there. And then sometimes like right before the drop or right after a drop, I'll cut it and, and leave a, a small part where it's not there and then introduce it again. So I almost always have it in my tracks. I, I feel like it fills out that emptiness it's, really well. <laughs> you show me this, uh, this sample. It's, uh, it's great because it, it has like the qualities you want from like a pink noise or something, but it sounds yeah. real because it's a machine. Yeah. It's a really Kinda weird cool. sound. I can share it sometime yeah. if you guys want it. I use it all the time. <laughs> okay, should we move on to the next track? Yes. Is, is it gonna be? Is it? Are we gonna <laughs> listen to your track first or my track first? Uh, let, let's go with yours. Okay, I'll just find it then. Okay. It's a country song, I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great uh, tagging job I did there. Okay, are you guys ready for my track? Yeah. It's a bit different from what I usually make, but hopefully you're gonna like it anyways. Let's uh let's What's do this. The sound. What? It's playing now. Oh. Oh well. I'm just behind. Rewind. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Kong. And now it's time for the sad part. Okay. <laughs> We've had four happy hardcore drops, now get ready for a classical drop.
the <laughs> single tier, man. It, it was like four, four songs in one. Yeah, that's four different drums <laughs> at least. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. I like it. You, you should make just four man. tracks from it and release in a hardcore AP. <laughs> Gamer called, he wants his energy back. No, he can't have <laughs> it. Yeah, that was pretty good. I really like it. Um, the only thing that kind of uh, messed with me was before the first job, you had that part with the sub or low end going on. And then the job hit, and I think that part before the job was maybe way too loud. So it didn't give the first job that big impact. I believe, or otherwise it was really awesome. I really enjoyed the um, different jobs every time. I think th that's your next path in your music career. Just make UK <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, fuck drum and bass. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like, like the blending of the two, uh, like you did in, in Haya. Uh, you kind of flip it and uh, and do and introduce uh, hardcore in the, uh, in the in the drum and bass track. That kind yeah. of works really well, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I'm not partic I don't. I'm not sure the kick works, especially on the first drop. It. Uh, it kind of. It sounds too boomy to me. Uh, like I, what I would like to. Um, what I like in these track at least is that you have like the kick and then, like it's just very quick. And uh, I, I wrote down it has to be, slappy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's very short, uh, kick, and then you have the bass that kind of fills it. Uh, which I think is great. And here you have like it kind of, it, it, I don't know. It's just it's too bass heavy. I think it, it kind of it, it's too long and I don't know. It, it's hard to describe. It just feels off. It works later in the track, honestly. I just don't think in the first drop it works. And I think you can make that slappy kick. I hate that sound. I hate that word now. <laughs> uh, I think you can make that work in the in the rest of the drops as well. Yeah, actually, the, the kick was uh, one of the things I struggled the most with, uh, and I I'm, I agree. I st I still don't think it's 100 percent there yet. Should we? Uh, are we gonna have a question before, or should we just jump no, into? We, the need next we need a question. We need a question. We need a question. Yeah. Pe people in chat, it. do you have a question for us to answer? No. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't even have to be music related. Any question it, goes. It doesn't even have to be question. It doesn't even have to be a question. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, I think we I, need to set the I mean, bar somewhere and maybe say it kind of has to be a question. I think yeah. I have I think I have something that I actually would be interested in knowing, uh, mm -hmm. kind of production related. But I think it can be used for any work you want to do. Okay. Uh, what do you do in order to get like to make your workspace a productive workspace? Like I have trouble because I do everything by this computer. It's hard for me to sit down sometimes and work on music because you know minecraft is right there so. <laughs> for, for me games are a really big problem because it distracts me all the time <laughs> it's like okay today i want to work on this project and then i look up a discord we got with my friends we got our server and i see someone there or i'm just joined there and someone joined to me and oh fuck oh shit here we go again and we start playing games and then do nothing and suddenly it's night and... <laughs> but uh, when it comes to physical stuff, I started deleting or removing things from my table. I'm trying to keep my table as clean as possible, so it, nothing distracts me on my table. The less things you see, the more you see uh, your project or FL Studio or so, if, if you know what I'm trying to do. That's the exact point I wanted to make and the reason why I asked the question because I wanted to see if any of you did that as well because that's my that's probably my number one tip even though I'm horrible at following it like my room is a mess and my desk is the worst <laughs> it's just cluttered all hell but I can feel it instantly when I finally clean out my desk I'm so much more productive yeah and I think it's it's yeah. all about uh, <clears throat> attention I now I study a little bit of psychology because I'm a nerd uh, and the uh, if your workspace is cluttered, your mind is cluttered. So you have to kind of, I think the, you have to reset it as yeah. often as, that's like the, the number one productive tip I hear every once in a while is when people like, when they have, especially if they do like shop stuff, where they uh, actually make things, the, like the ritual they have to do before they go home is they have to put everything back where it come from. So when they come in, they come in at, at like beginning 
I have like two rules. I don't always follow them, but for the most part, uh, my rule number one is when I get up in the morning, I always make my bed because then I have achieved something. Even if I just go and watch Netflix the whole day, I know I, I have done something today. I've made my bed. Just overcoming that first hurdle kind of snowballs me into what kind of want to do more towards the day. That yeah. makes any sense. It's a small thing, but it really helps. It also it just makes your bed look tidy. Um, and then before I go to bed, I kind of do like what you said. I do the reset to default thing where I go out and I try to like clean up the whole room. Like if I have empty uh, Faxacondi cans on my table or if I have a plate <laughs> from, uh, from uh, my food, I'll try to at least move it away out in the kitchen. Um, and if I'm... Um, like motivated enough I'll even do the dishes <laughs> but yeah I'll try to like reset to default every night before I go to bed so that when I wake up in the morning I can just make my bed and then I can go and be productive yeah also the one good thing if you have a phone on your table put it the screen down yeah like, so you don't see notifications and stuff it's probably even better to just put it in your pocket or put it away uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't feel comfortable to have um, my phone um, in the bucket while sitting. In the Put it in a drawer. Me, me <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's actually that's funny you said that with the whole making the bed because that's like the uh, that's like the two tips I, I hear when I, I watch those how to get, become a millionaire at age twenty yeah. videos. It's always like <laughs> everyone they always say make your bed at, at first thing in the morning exactly because the the same same reason you said because even if you do nothing else you will still have done this thing and if you just roll out of bed and watch netflix all day you will still have at least achieved the thing of making your bed mm -hmm. which again as you say it kind of projects you into doing things for the rest of the day yeah it sounds really silly it. but it actually works at least it, it did for me uh, um, i i will try it tomorrow okay Steve. should we listen to the last track of today uh, yeah did you, um... Overload. Overload. Okay, so the next track we have is from uh, Overload, and it's a uh, it's a remix of an R.L. Grime track. <laughs> Loud sound incoming. Is it playing for all of us? Yes. Yes. Good. Now listen up, kids. This is how you do a sub, apparently. Listen, this is how you do subs. <laughs> She just moved to LA, go to UCLA And she drive a Maserati, then she got a body She be trying to party Surf for shawty, she just got the way 24 being getting big So you know she flakes it Shawty got style, I can tell how she dresses She just moved to LA It's a shaker. Nice shaker, <laughs> my dude. Everywhere, I love this. Hey, damn son, banger. Honestly, um, I I, uh, I didn't write notes for the first submission, but but I started writing notes here because uh, I'm a nerd again. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, it's this hard is the uh, this is the section where I wrote all the all the notes I had for Overload Strike. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Damn. <laughs> oh Jesus! It's uh it's empty. <laughs> oh, oh. God damn. <laughs> 
it's wow. this is exactly what I want in a remix like this. Uh, <laughs> like I, I can't comment on the uh, the mixing and everything you said yourself. It was overblown after you uploaded it to SoundCloud. I don't hear it, so that I can't comment on. But this like this, uh, I like the kicks. I like the snare. The bass line is awesome. The vocals are awesome, of course. Uh, <laughs> I just I don't know. I like. I just like it. I mean, this is what I want in the remix. I, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's really simple remix, to be honest. It is a simple remix, but it works. Like you don't have any, uh, you don't have any like huge melodies or any specific hooks. You just use like the things that are given in the remix yeah. pack. Yeah. But it just wor It works. Like again, I think it would be hard to make a track like this from scratch. It makes sense because you're giving the stem, given the stems. True, true. Uh, so you have a lot of material to work with. Uh, I agree with Ovi. It sounded really good. Um, like the drums and the bass line and everything was on point. And it, yeah, it is simple, but I think uh, as Ovi said, uh, a bootleg like this uh, is supposed to be simple um, because you don't want to mess too too much with it. At least if if you want people to play it out, you need to have all the like stuff from the original, the recognizable stuff, and then just add um, whatever, whatever, yeah, simple stuff you can add, and I think uh, you did that really well. So it, it just sounds pretty spot on. I think the only things I could add is um, you could, but once again, you don't. You can keep it simple, but you could try to like play around with the second drop and make it different, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was actually I had like four variations of second drop. And yeah. with the different jump patterns, uh, I even try to chop the melody, the lead one, and make it different, but it sounded so weird. Yeah, yeah. I, could imagine, I could imagine. So I just rather well, fuck it. <laughs> you should uh, you should definitely just enter it in the contest, which, by the way, you kind of reminded me to download those stems before they're gone. Um, well, is there a contest going on? Yeah, I thought that was where you got the stems. It's on uh, Weibo. <laughs> Uh, I uh, think the contest already ended. I think it was. Like... No, it's a uh, submission closes on June thirteenth. So you have a really? uh, you have like almost two weeks. Easy. Um, Go on the Discord and uh, whenever he enters, you will post the link there, and we will all vote and make free yeah. fake accounts and vote ten times each. True. true. <laughs> Let's uh, give Overload a big hand because he actually finished a track. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Woo! Good job, my man. You did it. Go you overload. did it. And now <laughs> we are gonna we are gonna come to the last part of the show, which is a new part I just made up, and it's oh. called. Um, okay, I don't have a name for the section yet, but the section is all <laughs> about shaming the people who signed up but didn't finish the track. Oh, I like. Oh. That. <laughs> okay, I'm one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Shame. Meluran signed up, but he didn't turn ah. in a submission. Boo! Oh, Boo! Boo <laughs> Meluran! Boo! Boo Meluran! What a guy! And he, he's not even here today. <laughs> it's only <laughs> Meluran and I. <laughs> the, next, the next guy who signed up and didn't submit a track is OV! Boo! Boo, Boo. OV! God damn, Ovi! <laughs> Who is this shame, fool? Shame, anyway? shame on you! <laughs> well, at least he showed up for today. Uh, you are both just need, uh... gonna get the Elfat Deserta role on uh, Discord for a month. Are you are you actually do are you actually doing that role? Yeah, why not? Oh my god, you <laughs> should uh, I do it. <laughs> You should you should definitely do it, but you should put you should put it pretty high up so that like it, it's just like if it, you if you put it like between mods and musicians so like the shame people are at the top. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it I'll put it there. I guess this uh, ends our stream for today. If you uh, are considering joining Ilfat, you should definitely do it. Just uh, go to the Discord. There's a link uh, on screen, and also there's a link down in the, in the panels. Um, so jump in there, sign up for Elfat, and uh, <laughs> you can be in here next month. And yeah, that's an interesting question from Hassan. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. This has been Elfat number three. Yeah. And uh, right after this, I'm going to go in and set up uh, next month's Elfat submission. So you can uh, sign up and uh, start making your track or finish a track you're already making. I just want to give a big thanks to our co-hosts, so Ovi, 
thank you so much for joining today and filling out Miluran's butt because he's a little plip. Couldn't be here today. Thank you for having me. It was awesome. Yeah, how has it been being on here? It was actually it was it was really fun. Like it was uh it was easier to actually come up with feedback when you have that hat on, yeah. so to speak. So yeah. at least I hope I, I said something useful. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, but it was good having you. Yeah, <laughs> also, uh, also uh, uh, remember to remember to buy the new sub I release ruin. Yeah, oh, buy yeah. the new. It's up there. There's a link up there in the corner. Am I po pointing the right way? This no. up, up there. It's up up there. in the corner, up there. There's a link. Put it on your Spotify playlists. I, and I, I let's give a big hand to uh, Overload for actually co-hosting once again. Yay! Yay! Woo! So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we hope to see you guys another time. Goodbye and thanks for today. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Bye next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Is it off?